Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? How was your holiday? Are you getting ready for the next holiday? I know I am. So, of course, I did what I do best. I shop for yarn and I got these deals online. I'm always looking for a coupon or some kind of sale or something. And I usually score and I've never tried these Colorama Halo by um, Yarn Inspirations by Karen. They are just so beautiful. So let me bring you in closer and we'll talk about them. So the yarn, I'm telling you, if you haven't touched one of these, it is the softest thing ever. And the first time I saw this yarn was on Bag of Day's channel. But what I love about this yarn is look at the color. There's no seam. There's no, like you can't tell when it starts changing. It is like a perfect blend. And I don't know about you all, but this yellow reminds me of like a honeycomb, bumblebee, spring. I just love it. I know we're in the Christmas season, but I'm always looking ahead. And if I could get a coupon for something, you bet I'm going to grab it. So this is the um, the instructions and everything about this yarn. It says that for crochet, it's a 6mm needle, even though up here it says 6.5. So, you know, you get the picture of what size. I would use a 6 on this. And if you look at it, see, it's nice. It's not really thin, and it's like the perfect size. So what I want to know is, how does this work up on a knitting machine? I mean, the blending of the colors is absolutely beautiful, but I don't know about all these little fuzzies. You see the fuzzies? I wonder how that does on a knitting machine. So I guess I'm going to have to try. But anyway, I got this color, and... I got this color. Look how pretty that is. So let me see if these colors have names because I'm not even sure. This yellow one is called Beeswax Frost. And this beautiful one, look at that, how cute that is. This one is called Rose Garden. So I'm not sure. But I was laughing the other day because... I was watching um, Juan the yarn, the yarn Addict. He's like one of my new favorite uh, crochet people. But I go on all these channels and I look for other crochet people to subscribe to because I just want to support your channel. But anyway, he makes me laugh because he says that he's an addict of yarn and he's an enabler and, you know, he's got yarn. So I mentioned the other day that our youngest daughter moved out. So we're empty nesters. So her bedroom is becoming my new office slash crafting section. And Juan, if you watch this, you think you got yarn? <laughs> you just wait till I show you mine. I got yarn for a century. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. Gorgeous. I've been watching Juan the Yarn Addict from the beginning. And his channel has grown so fast. Of course, I immediately had to subscribe. And I really enjoy the videos. There's so many of you I watch that I absolutely love. The yarn community, the crochet community, knitting. Everyone is just so friendly. You notice that? I love it. Look at that blending of this color. This color is... I, I love this. Now, I have to decide what I'm going to do with these. Because I'm not even sure. This one is called Harbor Frost. I don't know which one's my favorite. I think the yellow one. And this, this just screams like a really spring Easter color type. Look how pretty that is. And this one is called Orchid Frost. So what do you guys think I should do with these? Give me some ideas. Right now I'm working on a Cocoon Afghan by A Bag A Day. Um, tutorial and it's turning out beautiful. I've never made an afghan before. It's my first one. So I'm really excited to continue doing it and it's for my daughter. Hopefully I'll, I'm, I don't think I'm going to get it done by Christmas, but I think her birthday in January, I'll have it. So I'm really impressed with these. You know, I wasn't sure 
I mean, I heard everyone say they're soft, but sometimes I've hear, I hear people say something soft and I go touch it and it's not really, but yeah, this is definitely, definitely a softness. Like this would make a perfect blanket for a baby, but knitting machines. Has anyone tried this on a Central or an Addy? If you see this, let me know down below because I want to know before I actually try. And look, it is the perfect phasing of colors. My gosh. I wonder if I should make something with one. Because I have two of each color. I just put the four here. Because, you know, why am I going to put the multiples here? Or, um, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Maybe a scarf. Because the phasing would just be so perfect. So, anyway. I really love this one, though. I'm a winter person. And this reminds me of, like... An icicle. I don't know. I like this. I like this a lot. And I have a friend who loves pink, so I might make her something with this. But anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. And if you haven't subscribed yet, press that subscribe button. And uh, of course, I'll find your channel. And tell me what you guys think. Colorama, Colorama Halo. I love it. So the winner right. of the Christmas yarn contacted me and that yarn is on its way. So my next um, giveaway is going to be when I hit 1,000 subscribers. And just to give you a little hint, and it has nothing to do with these, I have spring in mind. So press that subscribe button, help me hit 1,000, and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> Take care.